This week's Ion MPI, brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit, is from Omron. That's right. What do they do? What do they make? What is the MPI this okay, week? Okay, so Omron does a lot of automation and sensing. So a lot of times when you have sensors for robotics or automation or factories, it's going to be an Omron sensor, like our pick and place and, and board stenciler and board placer. They all use a lot of Omron sensors. So uh, you That's know, the Omron siren. Every time we say Omron... Omron. Make some noise. I know. We need a party. Um, it's Until we're live in New York. It's, it's in New York City and there's, there's alarms. But uh, so this week I, I saw this pop up on INPI and it's like sometimes we have INPIs that are like really like incredibly complicated, advanced, like single board computer, like machine learning time of flight cameras. And sometimes it's like here's a sensor that's just really useful. So this week's sensor is just really useful. So this is the uh, B35WDB series. So let's go check it out. This is a like a brake beam sensor. It's a, a diffuse infrared sensor um, that's just kind of really well made and uh, has a distance range of it says you know 550, mil, 550 millimeters or about half a meter, um, but you can actually kind of go up to 800 millimeters or about 0.8 meters uh, depending on the material that you're um, uh, detecting. Uh, it doesn't do um, distance. It doesn't. It just do, does whether something is in the path of the beam. So it's a diffuse reflective sensor. Uh, right now there's only one model. It's a, the NPM input. You see the distance is, you know, 550, uh, super miniature. Um, and it's a, got, got a nice mounting system, which I'll show in a bit. Uh, using it's really easy. It's got three terminal connections, one power that, that wires, uh, that powers the sensor, the LED and sensing circuit. Um, then ground, which is, you know, the power and signal ground, and then there's a load output, and you can see there's just an NPN uh, transistor. So you can sync, you know, I think probably about 100 milliamps or so through it. Uh, not good for inductive loads, but you could use this to, say, power a relay or, uh, sorry, a transistor that could uh, control the relay or control the solenoid um, that you want to power. But for just like an LED indicator, you know, definitely this would be able to, to power that. Um, so the um, distance, so in this case, you know, sensing it with white paper, uh, you'll see it, it's it's good from you know, zero to oh, yeah, close to but not quite one meter. Um, the reason they'll say you know 550 milli millimeters is because of the the color and reflectivity. Um, so this sensor is interesting. Apparently, it can detect even clear materials, which is uh, kind of neat. Some IR sensors don't work well with glass, but um, this can handle even uh, transparent or translucent materials. Um, the uh, mechan you know, the documentation is really good. Uh, the CAD file has um, a lot of details. Uh, so you'll see here something interesting. You know, you, 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 it's small. It's like an inch or so wide. And then the mounting holes, um, it, they go both ways, both lateral and vertical. So you can kind of mount it any which way you like, which is kind of sweet. And on the bottom, there's a plug and there's um, a cable that you can get. Uh, it's got the, a JST. I don't remember the exact. Let me go to that. Yeah. It's the EE5002. Uh, cables. This, has, this is a pre-made cable assembly. You plug it in, or you know you can just make your own cable. Uh, this is the GHR series. It's a little latch plug-in cable. Um, your choice. Either way, you just plug it to the bottom, and you're ready to go. Available on DigiKey because that's this segment NPI. The, all the new things on DigiKey. You can get this on the website. The short URL is digikeycom forward slash short for slash T D zero D H four three nine. Or you can search for it with the product number up at the top there, yeah. and let's uh, show this off. Yeah, so I'll show this off. So actually I opened this this one up. So usually it has a very nice uh, cover, which I, it, it's actually a very nice sealed cover. Uh, and uh, I wanted to show it, so you can actually even see the um, transmission uh, diode here, and then there's the uh, receiving diode, and then there's like a little bridge in the between. Um, and these are, are tuned to be, you know, to, to not interfere with each other. And then, you know, when I put my hand in front, you can see this uh, indicator LED, which I've wired to the output, turns on. So it's really simple. But yeah, what I really liked about this is you see that there's these mounting holes. And then if you turn it, there's another set of mounting holes. So they did like this cool, like either way, you know, however you want to connect it. Um, it's very compact, uh, very easy to use, and uh, a longer distance than most uh, proximity sensors, right? A lot of sensors, they're good for, you know, maybe you know, 200 millimeters or so. So I was impressed that this was 
for not too much money, you get something that can go up to you know half a meter or more. Um, but a very simple, very effective sensor. I tell you, you really don't want a an object sensor that's flaky. Like it has to be very reliable because if you mess up even once, you might that you know an object might go past your conveyor belt or you might not uh, hit the safety interlock. So even though it's like a very simple sensing element, you really want it to do a very good job in all sorts of light conditions and all sorts of you know environmental conditions. You saw that video earlier about how temperature and humidity can affect uh, your sensing elements. But Amaran has been really doing this for decades. It's trustworthy. I mean, like you can use this. It's reliable. It's high quality. Um, it's going to do the job. It's going to do it right every single time. All right, and that is this week's Ion MPI, Kijiki and Adafruit. Hi on MPI.